We bring you the latest updates from the PNA newsroom. The Marcus administration is still working closely to achieve food security in the country. This amid the high inflation rate due to heightened external risks and the recent typhoons. Social Economic Planning Secretary Arsenio Balisacan said the government is eyeing to extend Executive Order 171 signed by former President Rodrigo Duterte which reduces tariffs on rice, pork and corn. Balisacan said that modifying the import duties translates to stable food prices in the country. Balisacan added that the government would continue providing cash transfers, fuel discounts and other targeted assistance and would also implement climate adaptive technologies to sustain agricultural productivity and resilience. The EO, which was signed last May 21, is only effective at the end of December. Sultan Kudarat Governor Pax Ali Magudadatu urged the Association of Southeast Asian Nations to find immediate solutions to mitigate the impacts of climate change. He also wants the highest policy-making body to address the digital divide among Southeast Asian youth. Magudadatu made the call when he was introduced by President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. during the ASEAN leaders' interface with representatives of youth leaders from the region. In his speech, Magudadatu said the devastating effects of severe tropical storm Paeng, which struck the Philippines, is a wake-up call not only for the country but for the whole ASEAN. Likewise, Magudadatu also asked ASEAN member states to put a stop to the digital gap to help the youth become more productive and competitive. The ASEAN leaders meeting with the youth representatives serves as a platform to discuss and exchange views on youth development and other issues as well as to promote partnerships for sustainability. The Armed Forces of the Philippines showcase its newly acquired air and naval assets in the ongoing Dagitpa exercises in Palawan. Two Mach 1.5 capable South Korean made FA 50 PH light jet fighters flew in tandem over Navy Transport BRP Bacolod City in a simulation of joint air and sea operations. Meanwhile, missile frigate Antonio Luna and patrol gunboat BRP Heracleo Alano performed a maritime interdiction operation simulation at Brooks Point, Palawan, while the AW109 helicopter provided air support. Western Command Chief Vice Admiral Alberto Carlos said the joint capabilities of WESCOM is very essential in protecting territorial integrity and sovereign rights in the West Philippine Sea. This year's Dagitpa or Dagat Langit at Lupa is the sixth iteration of the joint exercise of the AFP. Carlos said this exercise demonstrates that the AFP is capable of conducting joint air and sea interdiction operations against hostile forces. Palawan adds to its long lease of accolades as it is named the most desirable island in the United Kingdom's 21st Wanderlust Travel Awards. Travel magazine Wanderlust described Palawan's beaches and waters as heaven on earth. Among the features of Palawan praised by the magazine are photograph-friendly sites such as Kayanga Lake, the Puerto Princesa subterranean river and its local cuisine. The country also placed sixth in the Wanderlust Sustainability Initiative category for its Dive 7 program. Meanwhile, Cebu was nominated this year as the most desirable region in the rest of the world. Tourism Secretary Cristina Frasca said these awards reflect the Marcus administration's efforts to revive and develop the tourism industry. She vowed that they would continue to promote the Philippines and the Filipino brand to the world and to ensure the continued sustainability of the islands. That's the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We're also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and Radio Pilipinas RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I'm Stephanie Civiliano with Tell Stories that inspire change.